On this edition of What's Good, we get a closer look at one of Fairfield's newest restaurants, the aptly named 260 Kitchen and Bar. My name is Molly Toe and I'm the owner of 260 Kitchen and Bar here in Fairfield. After I sold my last business that was also here in Fairfield, I saw this location and I just thought to myself, wow, what a wonderful location to put a restaurant with a concept that I had in mind. The name came up because the address is, we're, at, we're located at 260 Pittman Road here in Fairfield. So I thought to myself, why not just take the, the number and make a cute logo out of it and just run with that. 260's unique and creative name is reflected in its eclectic new American menu. 260 offers a plethora of popular dishes that would please any patron's palate. There's a lot of very popular dishes, but if I had to name a few, I would say that our pokey tower, it's the ahi pokey tower. Our blackened chicken and shrimp alfredo is one of our customers' favorites. Of course, we have a Korean fried chicken sandwich that is our top seller. Chef uses a spicy gochujang, which is a spicy Korean sauce and he has his own recipe when he coats the crispy fried chicken with the, the sauce and then we put it on, on a nice brioche burger bun and we have a house mango and pineapple slaw that just takes it to the next level. People come in just to get that sandwich because in this area I haven't seen anywhere where they offer that yet. Opening its doors in June of 2020, 260 has had to adapt to the challenges of running a restaurant in the midst of COVID-19. One of the challenges was that, you know, when we opened, it was indoor dining. Less than a month after that, we obviously got shut down the indoor dining per the California mandate, and we're doing outdoor dining. We had a limited capacity on the patio, so I went down to the city of Fairfield, and they were very, very accommodating because we wanted to extend the seating out into our parking lot. I just felt that that was a great thing that they were doing for the businesses because they made it so easy. So we were able to extend into our outdoor parking lot. And then when they allowed us back in indoors with a 25% capacity, uh, it was tremendous for us. We, we were elated and we we're happy to welcome guests back. Through it all, Molly hasn't lost sight of what she loves most about the restaurant business. What I love most about my job is definitely the social interaction, whether it be with my guests, uh, the families that come in, also my employees. They play a big part of what I do here. I have a manager, I have an executive chef, and you know, just a lot of good employees who I feel are an extension of myself. And when you find a good team and you have that, it definitely can make the work a lot easier because everyone comes in, they take pride in what they do, so they really help me run the restaurant the way that I envisioned it. Molly's vision for 260 is evident throughout the restaurant from its aesthetic, which blends a modern style with warm, comforting details, to its dessert and drink menus, which reflects 260's creative motif. I have to say that, you know, we kind of have a lot of fun with this as well, our dessert. So we do a house-made bread pudding. Like right now, we have a butternut squash bread pudding. And of course, we do the traditional, but as we go into fall and winter, um, we, we utilize what we have and, and what works for the season. People have a lot of fun with that dish. We'll have people call in and ask like, what is your bread pudding today? We also named our cocktails after the streets right here in Cordelia. So we kind of thought it would be neat that, um, you know, with these cocktails, we went around and we just identify some of the street names here in Cordelia. And so we have people from around the neighborhood that come in and go, oh, well, you know, I have to have the Via de Bella because I live on that street or I live on Gold Hill. 
we have a cocktail named the Gold Hill, and I, I have to try it because you know we live right off a of Gold Hill. So um, I thought that was that that's pretty neat when people come in and they can identify with the name of the cocktail. <laughs> Ultimately, Molly has one main goal for the customers who visit 260. I want the diners to be able to come in here and say, wow, you know, I, I, I just love going to 260 Kitchen and Bar because it has a wonderful atmosphere. The food is good. The staff is friendly. And I want them to feel like, you know, this is their neighborhood restaurant. Come and see us at 260 Kitchen and Bar soon where we have an extensive menu, wonderful dishes, a well-crafted cocktail menu, a full bar, and of course, where you'll always see a familiar face with wonderful service.